welcome to the 6 o'clock news. I'm your host, Billy Waffles. And I'm his co-host, Bob Shortcake. On today's news, a grandmother was brutally murdered at the age of 93. She got hit by a school bus going 90 miles an hour in a school zone. Thrown into a th the Regal Theater, which shocked her because the sign, the neon sign, just fried her to death. The ambulance came speeding again, but the brakes came went out, so it flew into the theater, crashing into it, killing millions of people because there are millions of people in a theater nowadays. That's a shocking experience, Billy. Yeah, there, there was many, many deaths. A few years ago, 1949, the Soviets blew up their first atom bomb. And in turn of that, we, Americans, because we rock, um, made a bigger bomb called the hydrogen bomb. That is so amazing that we could just come back like that and just blow them out of the water. Yeah, it's like a race. Yes, Bob, it's kind of like a race for the H-bomb, because I heard the Soviets are going to blow up their first one pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Here we go to Jeff Dinkleberry in the field where we are about to blow up our first H-bomb. This should be good. It shall be. We are on site at the hydrogen bomb testing facility where the Soviet Union is now testing their new bomb. Now let's go talk to one of the locals, locals about how they feel about the hydrogen bomb. How do you feel, feel about the hydrogen bomb testing facility? I don't like it because I don't like it because if they're going to blow up all these beautiful trees, I mean, I'm a hippie and I love trees as you can tell. And if they blow it up, it's going to blow up everything, including our houses and our all of our people. I mean, a duck and cover crap, it doesn't work. Are you kidding? No. So how do you think this will affect the... It doesn't work! <laughs> If they're going to blow it up, they should go somewhere far away, not by these beautiful trees and these beautiful people. No, it's just going to blow up everything, and I'm, I'm not comfortable with it. I'm not comfortable. So you think it'll be bad on the civilians? I do. It's going to kill them all. All right. Thank you, sir. Yep. And get back to your something. I will do that. Okay. Well, that's all for now. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Jeff. That was very, very, very exciting. That was. That hippie. <laughs> that he was. He was just... I uh, don't even know. He was drunk. Yeah. Now we'll be going over to Edward Teller, a mad scientist who knows absolutely everything there is to know about an H-bomb. What will he be doing, Bob? He'll be explaining to us the way the H-bomb works. That, well, should, that should be very interesting. It should be. Over to Edward. Okay, now, as you know, my name is Edward Deller, and uh, me and my buddy, you know, Ulam, I, I forget his first name. I have a problem with forgetting stuff. I apologize. Anyway, well, we worked on this hydrogen bomb together in, uh, in uh, oh, I think it was college, maybe high school. Well, no, it was two. And, um, well, how it works is this, uh, the, 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 the fission, the fission, fission bomb, I'm here at the top, uh, gets really hot and then it starts melting this outer stuff which this is supposed to be foam I know you can't really see it too well but it, it, it holds this in place until it you know starts to explode and this gets really hot and starts to melt the uranium tamper which then ignites the fission fuel finally igniting the uh, you know, the, the fissile spark plug which then ignites everything else and it goes boom that, that's it. There's another design, but who cares about that one? Because they don't talk like me. And no one cares about them because they probably actually got something done. So that's not the point. <laughs> the point is, this is mine. And they can go away. Okay. That was very amazing, Edward. I know everything now. I learned a ton. Yeah, I just, I would have never known that if you didn't tell us, Edward. That was great. In other news, back to the explosion we've all been waiting for. We are going to go back to Jeff Dinkleberry in New Mexico to, to witness the first Soviet explosion bomb because the Soviets did in fact blow it up in New Mexico. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are on site uh, at the Soviet hydrogen bomb detonation area and we're about to see the H-bomb in action. 
This bomb has a destructive ability to, the, to wipe out an entire state. Let's see how it goes. Have another back at camera, man. No, it's going. <laughs> Jeff Dinkleberry has died. Now that we just got back from Jeff Dinkleberry and that hippie being exploded, we will show you a very safe way to get rid to avoid being blown up by the hydrogen bomb. It is called duck and cover. Here we go. Here we are on the scene, and I am not Billy Waffles in disguise. We are going to show you how to survive a hydrogen bomb attack. He's duck. <laughs> What we all must learn to do. You and you and you and you. Duck and cover. It's Frankfurt will show us how to die in case of a hydrogen bomb attack. He's duck and cover. Duck and cover. He did what we all must learn to do. You and you and you. Well, that wraps up the 6 o'clock news. Next time, you can expect beavers going incognito. Cognito. <sighs> it's good stuff. It is. I'm Billy Waffles. And I'm Bob Shortcake. Now, until next time, this is the 6 o'clock news. Let's go home, Billy. Yeah, I'm freaking done. Yeah. I, I, I'm sick of this job. This job sucks so <laughs> much, I'm gonna go drink. He's got and cover. Got and cover. He did what we all must learn to do. You and you and you and you. Got and cover. Frank or. <laughs> Frankford. Frankford. Frankford will show us how to die in it. <laughs> Frankford. I'm gonna pee my pants. Frankford will show us how to die. You can do it. Frankford's gonna show us how to die. No, that was too much. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Right. Dude, that looks so gay. I can't even describe it in words. Frankford. <laughs> We are on site at the hydrogen bomb testing facility. Ah. What? Okay. Back to you, Billy. <laughs> I can't hold a straight face, I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> How is this anything like a hippie? In the, this red stuff. Yeah. Mom, we're doing our homework. We're doing our homework. We just messed up our whole entire clip. That's not funny. Yeah, but then we'd have to duck and cover. Holy crap, we screwed this up. No, she was thrown into the blue green theater. <laughs> Shit. What's the name of the theater? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, dude. Yep, water's turned black and everything. Here, oh, go. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. Oh, dude. <laughs>